Hello everyone and welcome to Smart Code. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to develop a simple typing game. As you can see on the screen, we have falling character and you have to press the right key to catch that character. Your score is increases by 5 if you press the right key and decreases by 5 if you press the wrong key. So it's a very simple game with a simple logic and we are going to develop it step by step. I am going to describe all the steps. Okay, so let's get started. Open a new Windows Form project. Okay, our first step is prepare the interface. So let's do that. We are going to drop a panel on the form first. So we'll take a panel control. That would be our game panel. Name it game panel. And adjust some properties like dock it to the top. And now you can adjust the size like this. Okay, so this would be our game panel, and we are going to display falling characters here inside this panel. Now we need two buttons one for starting the game and one for closing. Take the button and place it here. So set some properties, call it button start, So now we need a label for showing the score. Take a label control and place it right here. Set some properties. Call it label score. And we can place it here, right? Now we need one more label to place it inside the panel. This label is gonna hold the character. We are gonna make this label fall down to the bottom. Okay, so adjust some properties. We can call it label. Vector. right and then we don't need any text now the one last thing that we need here is timer control so take a timer control and adjust some properties we can call it game timer leave the interval to the hundred you can change it if you want to make this label fall fast or slow so our interface is ready now and it's time to code you start by creating the events attach buttons and timer to the program just by double click on the button and the timer okay so code behind the close button is very simple just write this start close it's gonna close the program now this is start button as for now we will use this start button to enable the timer control because timer is basically 
disable okay so enable is set to false so we will use this start button to enable this timer control and we can write here the name of the timer and then call start matter so this line of code is going to activate this event so what we are going to do here we will make character label fall and make it fall is very simple take a look at the microsoft documentation label has a top property and we are going to use this top property to make it fall and label top property is basically the distance between the top edge of the label and the top edge of the worksheet and you can read and write that property so what does it mean the worksheet here is the panel that we are using and this is the top edge of the panel and this is the top edge of the label and the distance between the top edges is basically represented by the top property so increasing the top property simply means shift this label down to the bottom this is what we are going to do in tick event so we are going to increase top distance by 5 pixel or 5 point so we can write here the name of the label and property is the top and increase by 5 okay so it would work let's run the program and here you see the movement it goes all the way down and then disappears hmm so our next step is to fix this issue and the solution is quite simple let's first assign a different background color to the panel so that the panel area becomes prominent select the panel and choose a different color I'm taking uh, black right so this panel has a height property which is uh, right now has value 279 pixels so we are going to write an if statement and we will see if labels top which is the distance between the top edges becomes greater than or equal to the height of the panel then put this label back at the top so let's write the statement and it would looks like if so if this happens we will reset the distance between the edges okay by assigning a zero so let's save it and run the program now the thing is that our label appears always to the same location what i want is to make it appears to different location over the x-axis right as you know windows form is a two-dimensional system and we have origin always here at the top left corner and this measurement is basically the y-axis and this measurement is the x-axis right and the total length of x-axis is actually the width of this panel of a game panel right so how do we make it appears at different locations we need to choose different values of x only because the value of y is constant here which is zero so we are going to randomly choose a value of x in the range of zero to 800 okay so we can get this value 800 by using width property in the code so let's program it okay so now we don't need this line we are going to use instead label location property okay so we will write label character dot location okay this location property needs a point and we create a point composed of x and y using point class for example if i write so 
So I'm assigning this point to the location right now. So we are not going to do like this. We will write a method that returns a new point every time we make a call. Okay. So we can uh, write a method. Uh, the name could be get get new point. Okay. So just create it. So we need a random variable. And now we are going to randomly choose a point. Over the x axis. Okay, so we are going to specify the range and our range is from here 0 to uh, that point. Okay, so this is basically the width. So we can call the width property game panel dot width and okay, so next will be here and then return this point back to the location we're going to make a point the new location of x and y is constant right so this is going to work whenever we call this method this method is going to return a new point but we have a slight problem here that we need to cope with. Let's suppose our method returns a location point very near to the right edge of the panel. For example here. So the program will place our label like this. Okay, here at this location. Because the location in Windows form is always defined at the top left corner okay so this corner hmm? so the solution is quite simple this label has a width and in order to keep it inside this panel so we will say subtract the label width from the game panel width when we are choosing a new point over the x-axis so right here That's it. Now it's going to work perfect. So let's run the program and check it out. So here you see. Hmm. Different locations. It's working fine. Right. So this step is done, okay? So we have movement. Now the next step is generate character inside the label. Okay, so let's program it. Before we go further, we can make a simple improvement and we can assign a new location on the startup. Okay, so just copy this line of code and paste it here. So this is the advantage of writing methods, right? So you can reuse it whenever you want. Now, for producing characters, I write another method. Let's call it generate random characters or get random characters. This method is going to return a character as we have written type core. Take a random variable, random object. Call it random and now we are going to randomly choose a number in the range of 97 to 122 which is ASCII range of small letters right correct 97 to 
one, two, three, and we are gonna type convert it into core. Let's now call this method on a startup and assign character to the label, right? Let's run the program and check it out. So here you see we have character inside the label. Hmm? So this step is also done. Now we have a method that produces characters. Now the final step is capture the keys and process them, right? We need to activate first key capturing on the form and for that so we have a property which is called key preview. Key preview is set to false by default and we are gonna set it to true. Okay. Now we have activated key capturing on the form and for capturing the keys we use key press event so let's find it here yeah, we have a key press event just subscribe this event to the program double click here now we have event subscribed so this key press event or class has a key char property that returns the key we press on the keyboard so save the key first in a correct variable Now process the key against the character we have in a character label. So write an if statement, label character, so if the pressed character or the press key is equal to the text or the character we have in a character label, then they will do some stuff. We will add up the score by 5 and we don't have score variable. Okay, so just create a score variable. Right? And assign it to the label we have on the form. Right now, we are going to put label again at different location. So we are going to copy this line of code and paste it here and then we are going to assign a new character oh. this one but if you press the wrong key the score is subtracted by 5 and then update the score on the form. That's it. Our typing game is ready. Let's give it a final run. Start. Yep. 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 It's working. Perfectly fine. You can make some improvements if you want like you can improve the interface or You can define some logic for losing the game and You can make it more advanced. You can produce a mixture of uppercase and lowercase letters, etc, etc I hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching this video